And that's, <laughs> I don't think you could get much greyer. Grey oyster. The camera! <laughs> right then. Afternoon, daily walk. So I'm out with the ginge. Being a nutter again. Come on. Absolute loon. Hey, fucking elegant mud. It's sopping. Right, it's a challenge. I'm gonna set myself today, it's one o'clock now. Is to make a Swedish fire log. Find some dead standing, chop it, cut it to size, get a fire going in it, and cook a brew by two o'clock. And I've only got a knife, I've got a saw, um, and a ferrocerium rod. I've not got a lighter or anything, so. Yeah, that's the challenge today. So let's find a suitable location. Got one hour. I don't know if that's going to be long enough. I've never done one before, so I'm going to take you along for the ride, see if we can get it done. Oh, and I've no para as well. I've got. I think I've worked out a way you can do it without having to tie it up. Um, sure it'll work so we'll see <laughs> Cinder Fancy dose of birch back that should get us going Nutter Oh fuck there's the bay yeah so we got the birch, we just need some dead standing. I found these. The size of my fist is going to be too small, that. Ideal for making little chopping into sticks. Um, for making a normal fire, but I need it thick enough to split into four lengthways. So this is ideal. But it's fucking massive, so I don't want to be chopping that down just for its sake. So, I'm gonna go and have a look at this. There's a dead pile here. I'm just gonna go and see that top bit's quite dry. Let's have a look. Alright, finally. So, we've got this beech and oak that have come down. There's a bit of birch there as well. There's plenty of bark if I need it. Um, but this bit, dead oak. Nice and straight, perfect size, wider than my fist. And I'm not chopping off too much, so I'll chop it there and there. Okay, let's get to work. A bit wet. Look at that. This may not work. I think to be fair, oh, work out. I think to be fair, it might be better with pine for the actual fire log. I know it'll burn quicker, but at least it's some resin content to it. Uh, that oak's a bit wet. I don't know if we're going to struggle with this, we'll see.
dead. Bam. Really dead perch. Excellent. Really good for tinder. Alright, perfect. Alright, so we've got plenty of tinder. And what I'm looking for now is actually some pine around here. So I'm going to look for some uh, dead pine. Some nice thickness so I can uh, chop it up and split it lengthways four times. Um, to make my Swedish file up. So let's get cracking. Plenty of tender though. Good. Right, so I found this pine. It ain't standing, but I think we'll be alright. As long as I get that fire nice and hot and keep it stoked with birch bark. I've just seen these on it. And now, they look like teeny tiny oysters. See under me. Finally, nice bit of pine. So it's wet on the outside. There's a lot of things are. So everything is really damp. But uh, the inside, nice and dry. And split that four ways and then uh, the inside where it's gonna meet this is all gonna be dry so get that done This knife is not ideal for buying it. <laughs> Shocking. Alright, the next thing I want to do is dig into the ground uh, so I can actually support these back up like that. I'm going to use these sticks to thread in between just to keep them separated. I'm going to use the dirt so I can press it back in and hold them together. Try to dig down. There's some separation between them. So that's quite sturdy then. Let's bring it in close. Come on. Quite sturdy, a bit of separation in between logs. Fairly wet to be fair, but I'm going to try and pack it full of birch bark. Stuff I got before, tear strips. I'm just going to scrape 
birch bark. Right, so that is everything ready. I've got a tiny little bit of that ignition there with the birch bark. Some birch. Just get the flame going. I'm going to add it straight to this bundle here. Let's go. So you want to get it to a point where there's nothing actually burning inside these logs. It's the inside of the logs that are holding the heat. Got nice embers. So it's just a case of keep oxygen getting to them logs. So what we learned first time doing Swedish fire log it worked okay in the end. See all the water coming out of the logs now. Super wet. Um high <laughs> worked really well in damp conditions that all is never gonna go. Um, too wet. I struggled, I have a really struggled with that I think. So farm was a good idea. Um, in dry conditions this would be so much easier. I think the structure of it, um, sort of digging a hole using the dirt and a few twigs to separate just to hold this uh, structure. That worked bad. This knife it a while ago off um, Instagram. Uh, I won't say the name, but these teeth. The teeth on the top of this knife just make it impossible. What I'm going to use this knife for in summer is digging up roots. Um, so for wild edibles, it's going to be really good for digging down and pulling up roots pulling up the dirt and stuff. I think that's all I'm going to use this knife for. It's not very good. It's, I mean, it's a good chopper. Got some weight behind it. But for battening, rubbish. <laughs> Got an axe at home. <laughs> hey, you're mental. Chill out. Chill out. No, I'm sorry. Shall we? Come on, come play. So, yeah. The teeth on it, you just cut into whatever you're using to batten, and batten the knife. Um, so I struggle with that. I've got an axe at home, uh, but I wanted to sort of, I didn't want to carry too much and I thought it'd be a bit more of a challenge, just saw, knife, and um, ferrocerium rod to do a uh, Swedish log fire. Swedish fire torch, what it was called. Yes, worked all right. Can have a brew in a sec. I can't complain. What time is it? That's a big question. What time is it, Mr. Grey Wolf? <gasps> Two. I think I did give myself quite um, 
think himself a lot of time. So obviously I, I needed to walk to this spot. Um, fine wood, and suitable wood. So I'm messing about with that oak for quite a bit. Um, yeah, chop it. Get all the birch bark in the material. Light it, keep it going. Uh, but we got there. Um, yeah, Swedish fire torch, Swedish fire log. Couple of names, but yeah, good thing about them. Obviously, I have no stove, but I've got a uh, got an area there where I can put my pan, put my pan on, nice and slow burning, controlled. I mean, it's not going to get get out of hand. It can't. Yeah, so it's just burning nicely. Uh, it's a low heat as well, it's never gonna, it's not a fast burning high heat sort of campfire that's gonna keep you warm, it's, it is mainly for cooking, I think. Is it boiled? It's bubbling. Yeah, it's bubbling. Gently. That's what I'll do. Coffee in it. Tell you what, the good thing about it is as well, it's such a low heat, it can handle straight away. Oh, messy.